Online security is one of the first things people think about when dealing with anyone on the internet. Thus, for a business or any endeavor on the internet to garner confidence, it needs to have a secure site. What is SSL? SSL, or more commonly called TLS, is a protocol that encrypts website traffic and verifies server identity. Today, let us see how you can activate an SSL certificate for your website. Bluehost provides Auto SSL, which is pre-installed in all domain names purchased on our platform. However, if the domain is purchased from any third party, then you will have to make sure that the name servers or A records of that domain name point to Bluehost to activate the SSL. Let us log in to our Bluehost control panel and start cracking. Select the Domains tab from the menu. Search for the domain name you want to activate the SSL for and click on Manage. This will open up all the details about the domain name. Click on DNS. Here, you can see that as this domain name was purchased from Bluehost, the name servers associated with it are Bluehost name servers. If the domain wasn't purchased on Bluehost, then you need to update the name servers to point to our platform in order to activate the SSL certificate. Next, we can check the status of SSL on your selected domain name. Go to Advanced and scroll down to the Security section and click on SSL TLS Status. This will open the SSL TLS Status page. Here, you can see the status of all the domains and subdomains under management. In this case, we have purchased the domain from Bluehost and SSL comes pre-installed. Let us try to resolve the website and see whether the secure plaid lock appears on the browser. We have installed the SSL certificate, but the secure padlock is missing from the site. We can find the reason behind the missing padlock through a simple padlock search provided by multiple websites. In this case, we will refer to whynopadlock.com. In the secure address box, type in your domain name, complete the CAPTCHA process, and click on Test Page. This will give us reasons why the website is not reflecting the padlock. It will not reflect mainly for two reasons. Either the HTTPS detection code hasn't been added on your website, or there is some mixed content. In case of the first error, what you need to do is click on the link called More Info. Once you click on it, a pop-up opens where you will get the false HTTPS code. Copy the code and go back to your cPanel. Go to your file manager and locate the files where this code needs to be pasted. As the domain name we were checking is the primary domain name, the files will be under public underscore HTML. If this was an add-on domain name, there would be a subfolder under public underscore HTML and under that folder, you would find the necessary files. To add the code, Go to the Advanced setting on the Bluehost control panel. In the File section, click on File Manager. Go into the public underscore HTML folder and search for the file .htaccess. If it is not visible, it means that it is either hidden or deleted. Let us first check if the file is hidden. If it is hidden, we can unhide it. Click on Settings. This will open the Preferences pop-up. Select the option Show Hidden Files and click on Save. Now, right-click on the .htaccess file and click on Edit. This will open up a pop-up. Click on the Edit button. A new tab will open up. Just add the redirection code copied from whynopadlock.com, hit Save Changes and you are done. You can now go and check if the padlock is reflecting on your website.